Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We're playing Rebel Galaxy, and this is we're playing as pirates. We're playing the main campaign as pirates. A little recap of the last one. There was there was like a three three oh shoot, we're being uh okay, so this is part of the pirate playthrough, I think, is just that we're gonna get ambushed with engines impaired immediately, and it's gonna happen a lot. Prepare to open fire. Keep on going. Keep on going, baby. You can see in the bottom right, um, next to... So, hang on a second here. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to back up a little bit. The last episode, just to recap, we, we ended up breaking through a bunch of these ambushes that we're encountering right now. And I just had to run, use a lot of uh, evasive maneuvering, and basically just like making a beeline out of there every time we could. And uh, timing the use of the deflector, sh deflector shield and the boosters and trying to balance those out to where we were always at a defensive advantage. And so now we're here in the very bottom left of the screen. It's about right here next to the minimap. You can see a 37%. I don't know what that is, but it can't be good. And so we're doing this quest right now. We're trying to get some money to upgrade our components like shields and the deflector. And uh, we're just here to deliver something. So if we could just get in here, that'd be super awesome. There we go. <laughs> For, uh, just about 45,000 credits there. So let's look at this repair bill. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought, honestly. Um, yeah, okay. We can deal with that. So just under 6,000 credits. Um, our highest so far has been about 7,800. And so that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Let's go to the mission board and check out what missions we have left. We don't. That was a pretty quick little round of missions that we did. Got us a ton of money. Before we started that, I think it was less than I th 100,000 or just above, like 108. So we're going to go to the commodities market because um, at the end of the last episode, I kind of hung around for a while and picked some good stuff up here. I thought I did. But, I mean, again, it's no matter... It just depends on what uh, what system or what station you go to to sell them because this is a good sell, nanofibers, but we only have one. So that's okay. The mission that we just completed did require 10 spots of the cargo hold, and so that's why we don't have a bunch right now or a, bu a bunch of extra spots open. So let's go to the equipment bay. Give me just a second here, please. Maybe spend a little bit of money. Okay, so that didn't take long. The Barracuda is just, I think we need to do it. We need to pull the trigger on this one. The reason I didn't do it when we had like that 850,000 credits or whatever was um, a few reasons. The main components of the ship, like the weapons and defenses and shields, all that stuff needed to be upgraded anyway. And um, it's still serving us well at this point in the game. And that was a while ago that we had that. Then also, um, the, the main thing that really kind of turned me off from this ship was the broadside ports, right? Four broadside ports. But since the last time that I looked at this ship, I've realized um, a few things here, especially in the last few episodes, is that uh, the very fast maneuverability and speed will be really beneficial, even just that little extra bit. And so again, th this is not quantified. I don't see the acceleration, like, you know, meters per second or whatever. I don't see a top speed here. It's just, it's subjective. It's very fast. To me, very fast is different than from what someone else might think it is. Anyhow, so looking at this, very fast is green. And so these are comparative values to the Hellion. The Hellion is also very fast. Um, but if you look at, let's see here. Very fast here. It, it, so anyway, it's green. So I can only imagine that it's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Broadside ports, there are only four. But from what I've realized on those big capital ships, we can... If we have good positioning, we can come in, like, right in the front or uh, right, right to the aft, like, behind the engines of those huge capital ships. And um, we can just, you know, position well, keep the positioning, and then use the deflector. So I think um, right here the broadsides aren't as important, like, in that in that situation as turrets. So having those uh, particle, like particle laser turrets, having another one of those will be good. And so... Um, also secondary ports so we'll be able to have um, some more flak flak weapons which will help a lot with uh, the fighters because that's really that's still the bane of my existence it's those those uh those gunships those they're just they're brutal component banks again eh, it's it's kind of a moot point because we have two right now and we only have one um one filled in let's actually let's look at that shipyard no wait equipment bay components um this is subsystems think 
Anyway, we're done looking at this for now. And then the uh, the equipment bay and everything, the weapons, we'll just we'll upgrade. We'll probably stay with what we've been using. I really like the particle lasers, and I think uh, the proton cannons are good. Eventually, um, I'd want to upgrade the broadsides to beam weapons. That'll be way further on down the road. So for now, this is our goal, is uh, the shipyard and... Barracuda, so 554,900 credits. We're not too far away, but um, we're going to look at... Okay, so this is where we are. We're at a Red Devil outpost, which is perfect. We're in a mining rush right now. That's probably why some of the stuff that we have is not not selling at a good price. But let's go to the mission board. So this is what we're doing. We're just going to do some missions. Get those credits up. So hazardous crate. This is These are perfect. Because we can just show up, grab the crate, and leave. We don't have to stick around and fight. And so, I, I mean, I love fighting. Don't get me wrong. But it says high-risk mission. So we're being compensated at a high-risk level. But it's not actually high-risk. Because all we have to do is make it out of there. And so we're going to take that one off. Or take that one on. And Guild Retribution. Mercenaries Guild negative <laughs> 50. Wow. Okay, so let's read this. The mercenary guild has to be taught a lesson. While we honor the guild's establishment, too many red devils are failing or falling prey to mercenary adventurism. We have set a high reward for the head of Lazarus Kronos, killed this mercenary captain in a frontal assault right at his guild offices. Okay, um, that one actually does sound like pretty high risk. Let's see this Krunk job. So it looks like Militia Captain PJ Krunk has a new toy, a shiny new destroyer, and he's out for Red Devil blood. You know, as, as no, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna have to be humble about this one and realize <laughs> my limits. Piracy 601. Um, I like, I like these ones, especially now that we freed up 10, 10 spots in the cargo hold. So that's good. We're gonna take that one on. Guild Retribution. We're going to try this one out. We're really going to sever our ties with the... Oh, no, this is Mercenaries Guild. I was reading that incorrectly. We already hate them. <laughs> Completely hate them. So, um, give me just a minute. I'll get us to that first one. Well, I'm about to die, and we just left that system. Yep, she stopped talking. That means we are done. Uh, came out on in a weird spot, not the place where I entered into that station, and um, it was like right in the middle of a minefield pretty disappointing honestly and so this is going to be a fight just to get out of here it looks like no nope, we're good just reload the game <laughs> save game scum okay hang on a second please okay here we go engines are impaired yep immediately we're going to use up boosters first kind of get us away from the capital ships you can see the mini map in the bottom left and then yep deflectors are down engines are still impaired Luckily here they'll be they'll be unimpaired shortly and then we will um Yeah we're good. We're gonna let our shields come back up. Alright. Luckily, yeah, so our engines are no longer impaired, unlike with whenever we fight. Holy cow. Well, I was gonna say whenever we fight um the militia, but for the mercenaries. Holy I think we might be in and over our head here. Oh man. Okay. Holy cow. This there it is. There's a cargo container. Come on. Let's get there. <laughs> Here's deflectors. We're using them. Let our boosters and shields recharge, and I think we're out of the woods here. Holy cow, I just want to verify something here. Go to the mission log, and we're on this one. This is high risk. Yeah, so, um, again, it's, yeah, it is technically it's high risk. We almost died there twice, but um, we don't have to stay and fight. That's our prerogative, and uh, we're pirates. We can, we can take what we want, even though we don't deserve it, right? <laughs> I'll see you when we get there to turn this one in. Hold, please. Okay, and here we are. Springsteen Sector Outpost. So there we go. Nice little 67,500 credits. I'll take it. Minus, <laughs> minus a repair bill of, uh, yeah, 4,600. So we're still doing all right. <laughs> we're netting a lot. That's just, you know, the, the... Oh, yeah, so we're doing okay. So 554. We're on our way. We're on our way. I'll see you at the next one. 
So it looks like, yeah, this is just going to be happening all the time um, in this sector. So we got pulled out of warp speed, and engines were impaired immediately. And uh, so I think this is just part of fighting. Hang on, let's, let's target that guy. So that way our, there we go. That way our turrets all target. But I think this is just part of playing pirates, is that um, you have to fight the militia a lot. And that's, that's their gig, is they take you out of warp speed and they impair your engines right away. So yeah, we're just gonna try to try to keep our range here and positioning like we always do. Engines are off. Whoops. Okay, so if we can just kind of do this little dance like we're doing right now and keep targeting the side shields, the side without. There we go, without engaging or being in the line of sight of their broadsides, then we're we're good. There we go. Okay, so cargo container. Hmm, nice. Let's see what's in there. Those usually have a lot of good stuff, including maybe some components, like ship components. Okay, then then don't target the ordnance if we don't need it. How about if we target the, the very valuable cargo crate there? <laughs> How about that? Crazy lady. Um, so MK Mark 1, neutron beams, Yikak meat, and nuts and bolts. Eh, it's okay. The neutron beams... Oh, no, the neutron beams are broadside weapons. Oh, no, that's huge. Let's look at this. No, um, ship. Weapons, broadsides, neutron beams. Okay, okay, so 3,800, 4,800. Uh. Okay, we'll look at that later. We don't have time right now. <laughs> I'm trying to get to this quest before... Um, I'm sure if you've been paying attention to the channel for a while, then you know that uh, I try to keep my my content around 15 minutes. So we're going to go off to this next one. Hold, please. Okay, here we are. Um, and we are the only ones here. So let's just double check here. I, I think um, I misunderstood where our, obje our objective was. A cargo-rich convoy has been spotted near Reseda Axis in the Gilgamesh system. Uh, this convoy is under protection of Alex Aris. Okay, so same thing. Kill him. Kill Alex. You get this money. Um, anything else that we destroy, like any anything, any cargo or loot that we find is ours. So we're going to pulse here. Um, they have to be around here somewhere. I'm guessing that's them. Um, that, that ship that we took out may have been part of this, but I don't know. So there's a friendly... Let's go for the closer one here. Engaging warp drive... Please don't get stopped. Okay, cool. Where's... I'm not seeing the friendly that they were seeing. Okay, so it must be... Um... Oh, yeah, look. Are they in warp speed or what? Let's go over here. This might just be one we have to write off. Yeah, they... Okay. So detected friendly. They just keep jumping up there. I'm guessing that they're in warp speed also. The, the game might be bugged out. I don't know. There they are. I'm going to try to pull them out. Oh, it's a strip miner. This is a, it's a cargo rich. Hmm. We'll get it. We'll get it. So to pull them out of um, warp speed, I think we just need to get close enough to them. And we are very, very slowly. <laughs> Give me just a second. I'll get us there. So I decided to disengage there. It seemed like their their warp drive was uh, the same one that we had. And it was just going to be a stalemate until they stopped if they ever did. So we're going to go back here and see. We're well, just back to the, the mission objective to see uh, exactly what was going on. That's, that's fine. Okay. And so it just told us that we discovered this for the first time. What's that? What is that? What is that? Why is there a an exclamation point over it? And you can see behind us, there are detected hostiles. I think this might be it. We're going for it. Hopefully they're not in warp speed. No, they are not. Nice. Here we go. How's business? Um, well, it's good for me. How's it going for you? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was mean and cheesy. 
Okay. Oh, so the flat cannons, I just discovered, they have to be... Why are we not hitting them? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, there we go. So, flat cannons... You have to be, they have to be manually engaged. And so I want to target him. Okay, good. They had, they had narco call up. Naughty mercenary. Okay, that's fine. We're taking some system damage here. Kind of having second thoughts about those flat cannons now. I don't know if I like them. It looks like that it worked on that guy though, huh? That's fine. It's too damn hot for me. Yep. I don't even know if this is the quest. <laughs> it could have just been some traders that were going, and um, the game knows that we're we're into pirate stuff. So it put an exclamation point over it. I don't know. This guy's pretty tough, though. We we're gonna need to upgrade soon. Upgrade weapons, I mean. So. This, this game is going to get a little bit more complicated before um, we kind of like got ourselves established financially and then we just started rolling through those quests. No, 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 no. And now it seems like the... Oh, okay, nice, nice. Okay, good. So we got um, we got all of it done. That was pretty nice. Tacky and salt I know is worth a lot. Um, alien artifacts are also worth a lot. Um, intellectual property, mm, uh, it's okay. We'll grab it though, just to get it out of the sky so we can see the next thing. Let's see, what do we have left? How much room do we have? We have four left, perfect. Intellectual property, I think that's worth about $1,200. Grill whiskey is good. And an ordinance cache, I don't think we need it, do we? We do not, so we'll scan here, just pulls real fast. Accelerating. Detected cargo, that's why we always pulse before we leave. Well, not always, right? Sometimes we're running. <laughs> okay, narco cola, ceramic plating, mm, narco cola for sure. I think we have one more spot, don't we? Oh, I didn't. Operator air here. Give me one second, please. I'm going to get us to the next station where we can sell all this cool stuff and make some money. So we're see what we're tallied up at at the end of this one well I was thinking about this I've said it a few times that I try to keep try to keep my uh, my episode length down to around 15 minutes and I was thinking about it a little bit more and um, I don't know if there are any in this entire series that are <laughs> that are that short they're usually between like 16 and 20 minutes I think um, and I guess the reason is this this game is a lot of fun Let's go to repairs. Okay, 1,000. Nice. Not bad at all for that. Repairs complete. And so we are at a, uh, a merchant skill station, and this was just to visit the commodities market. It was the closest one that wasn't in, like, some kind of... Wait. Yeah, thing where uh, we would get ripped off for our merchandise. But um, apparently this was not the right place to come because this, we can only sell one thing. So that's that. Oh, we're close. We're close, aren't we? Okay, cool. Yeah. I think uh, th that's it for this one. I'm going to sell everything and see where we're tallied up at um, in between recordings. And then I'll open up the next one at a place and uh, let you know. But anyway, this is our Rebel Galaxy pirate playthrough of the main campaign. It's been uh, a lot of fun and very challenging. Very challenging. And uh, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this series. Um, we're probably getting close to the end i have no idea but um yeah let me know if it's good or bad just please be civil please be nice <laughs> all right i'll catch you in the next one